So I don't know if you guys used to do this, but uh, my daughter, Sydney, when she gets a boo-boo, she puts on a Band-Aid. But sometimes, even when she doesn't get a boo-boo, she puts on a Band-Aid. Or if she just bumps into something, she's like, I need a Band-Aid. So Band-Aids represent something, right? They represent healing. Um, it's a way of saying it's going to be okay or it's gonna, you're going to feel better soon. Um, mostly, they're supposed to be used to stop a cut from bleeding, right? But sometimes we put Band-Aids on just to make us feel better. So that's what we're talking about this week, uh, where wounds are healed for week three. Um, there's a lot of healing that has to happen in our community. And we, um, as members of the community, get to be a part of that healing, uh, recognizing that people have wounds and that people are hurting and that maybe there's something that we can do to help ease that pain. So you have a really nice story to watch, um, to look at with your family and enjoy. And then um, there is a nice meditation um, for you guys to enjoy. And then the activity for the week is um, you guys get a big, huge, massive Band-Aid. It's really big. I'm sure you guys saw it in your packets. Um, and with these Band-Aids, um, it's kind of like a symbolic way or a way that we can um, communicate to our community and our friends and people around us that we see their pain um, when it comes to racism and discrimination and that we acknowledge that it hurts and that we want to help in the healing. Okay, so you're going to use this Band-Aid. You're going to decorate it, um, um, put on some words that demonstrate that you um, are going to help in the healing process, that we can all work together as a community. I'll see you guys in week four. Bye.